Let us first read this sentence. I have told you a thousand times to keep the books properly. Now, you must have heard your mother saying this to you a number of times. But what exactly does she mean? Do you think she means to say that she has literally told you a thousand times to keep the books properly? No. Then what is she trying to say? Basically, she is trying to convey that she has told you a number of times or repeatedly to keep the books properly. Now, such a phrase as in telling you a thousand times is basically an exaggeration. Now, what are they called? Such devices have a special name in English language. They are called hyperbole. So, what is hyperbole? It is a bold overstatement or extravagant exaggeration of fact used either for serious or comic effect. So, in hyperbole, what we do is try to exaggerate a fact so as to give a serious or a comic effect to it. For example, when I say I told you a thousand times, I try to overemphasize on the fact that I have told you repeatedly. Now, if I say I told you many times to do this, then it would not have that kind of an effect as when I say I have told you a thousand times to do this. So, that is exactly the verb of a hyperbole. It tries to derive a serious or a comic effect by exaggerating a fact by using a bold overstatement. The luggage weighs a ton. Now, does this literally mean that the weight of the luggage is a ton? No, it means that the luggage is very heavy. So, weighing a ton is a kind of an overstatement which tries to emphasize on the fact that the luggage is really very heavy. So, weighing a ton is a hyperbole. He is so hungry that he could eat a horse. Now, a human being possibly can't have a horse alone. So, when I say he is so hungry that he could eat a horse, this he could eat a horse is trying to show how hungry this man is that he could even eat a horse. So, this is an overstatement or an exaggeration of fact which tries to show the extent of his hunger. So, this sentence, he is so hungry that he could eat a horse is an example of a hyperbole. It's been ages since I last saw you. Now, when friends meet after a long time, it's a very common statement that they say. Now, do they actually mean that they have been meeting after ages? No. So, what is it? It's been ages is trying to show that it has been a long time that we have not seen each other. So, it actually shows the long passage of time that has passed in between. So, this is also an example of hyperbole. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? Well, these lines are taken from a very famous play by Shakespeare. Now, Neptune's ocean means the oceans or the water bodies of the world. So, the author is trying to say if all the water bodies or all the oceans of the world would be able to clean the blood-stained hand. Now, this is a hyperbole. Why? Because to clean a blood-stained hand, you do not need the water of all the oceans of the world. So, here... The author has taken the help of this literary device called hyperbole. Now that we have seen how hyperbole can be used in our day-to-day -day usage as well as in literary works, let us try to see if we can solve this exercise. Identify the hyperbole in the following lines. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host, of golden daffodils. 
Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. Now, in this poem, we have seen that some of the lines in between has been removed. Now, from these four lines, can you identify the use of hyperbole? For that, let us read the poem once again carefully. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Now, till here, we do not have anything which shows a bold overstatement. So, let us move to the next lines. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. Now, ten thousand saw I at a glance. So, in every glance, I saw ten thousand of these golden daffodils. Now, that would be quite a number. It is not possible to count that you are seeing ten thousand of the daffodils at one glance. So, this is the hyperbole or a way of showing that there were plenty or abundance of daffodils. So, here, 10,000 saw I at a glance is expressing an idea that is an exaggeration. And hence, this line exhibits the use of hyperbole. So, we have learned today that hyperbole is an important literary device which is used to give a serious or a comic effect by exaggerating a fact or giving a bold overstatement. Now, it is very common to find hyperbole being used in daily conversation or even in literature. So now onwards, whenever you read anything, be careful and see if you can find any such hyperbole being used in them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.